Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Frostbite Gaming Experience. Let us continue on with some Metroid 0 or 1% challenge run. Again, I don't know exactly which one it is that I'm going to get out of it. Oh, it's a little too close. I wonder if... Oh, stop it! I don't know if that was just the charge shot doing the amount of damage needed to do that or if it was because how close I was. Again, I don't know. This guy, from what I can tell, even in the speed run, there really is no relatively big trick when it comes to him. You just you just wait till he does this little hop and you just blast him one. Half of that did not hit him. So because one charge beam is enough to destroy every single layer of it. But again, if if only half of it hits, then you're only gonna do half of the damage. Cause I should have destroyed the one layer there. So that does confirm it to me that only, if only half of it hits, it only does half of the damage. I think it's about the exact same as doing one normal damage. Perfect. Um, which then, I think if you shoot in cover fire like that, you're only actually shooting half of it because the other half gets absorbed from the ground. That right there. Don't want to get caught. Oh boy. I got, I, I got scared. Okay, one more shot should do it. Okay, pretty good. Oof. Try to get clever there. Oh, uh, I got I gotta get used on like the dodging patterns of these things like perfectly because of how hard they can get later on. Alrighty. So we got the jump ball and the high jump. Jump ball, I love you so much, jump ball. Jump ball is probably one of my favorite abilities in the game. Uh, just because it makes traversing so much easier. You know, you don't have to keep, like, stopping every two seconds in order to do a... You know, in order to utilize a bomb in order to head up to the next area. Just a simple jump, that's all that's needed. It's fantastic. Alright, so I gotta get out of here, but the one way is blown off. And I, I gotta run into the SAX... Yeah, because these, these guys are now going into their crystallized state and they become the giant big fuck you bugs that I hate so much. That is power bomb. I thought so. Okay, that's right. I go down here. Alright, and just let him walk right on by. I wish I had that cool of a walk. Every time you move, you start running, so you don't actually get the slow intimidation walk. Fuck you, I would have taken you on anyways. Okay, so let's see. Oh my god, they're already starting to get all crystallized. I don't like them. It's already it's already giving me PTSD of when I'm about to go against them when they actually hatch out of the cocoons and I, I seriously think that they can one-shot me. Uh, I think uh, I, I think they do at least one bar's worth of damage, Ab and that it's probably where I'm gonna die the most. Not even not even dying to a boss. I think I'm gonna die more to those freaking insects more than anything. Okay, let's just get on out of here because I just want to get a save going ASAP. Yeah, like you can tell they're already into their crystallized state. <laughs> I hate them so much. Alrighty, but we are at full energy and full missiles, so that's really good. Awesome, alrighty, still only one one death. Not bad, not bad so far. I don't expect my deaths to really start shooting up until... Uh, not even this next area, I think the next area afterwards. I think that's when the, like, the nocturnal area hits, and ugh, I'm not looking forward to that whatsoever. No, I think I'm going to the fire area first, right? Yeah, bad idea. Okay, yeah, so we're going to the aqua sector. So we gotta deal with Saris. That should be that should prove very interesting. I don't really I don't really I don't think I've ever had a pattern with Saris, but I think I know how to like how to take advantage of Saris relatively well. I don't know, we'll see. I'm very curious here. Is there Samus starts talking about the SAX? Or the Sa X? The Sa X. I don't know. Alrighty. I think it's just the right next one over. Perfect. Alrighty, we also get ourselves the speed boost and um, uh, the shine spark attack. Which, after watching the speed run, 
a lot more that you could utilize with it than even I thought I could do. So I'm very curious to see how well I can utilize that to my advantage. I remember I would always get so stuck in this place because I did not know that I could blow up the one particular wall because there wasn't really anything about the wall that showed it could be broken and other than just you were supposed to shoot at it and just take a wild guess, you know, and again, that's good. You know, I remember it, it ticked me off as a kid because I was too stupid to realize it. Again, there's a reason why I wasn't so good at Super Metro to begin with. I was a stupid kid. I couldn't think of, oh, I just need to go around and just like utilize every single weapon on every single thing and see what I can get out of it. And, you know, it, it also really showcased when it came to this game, because in this particular area, again, I got I got stuck here for the longest time because I didn't know I just had to shoot the wall because I was expecting there to be a crack or something to give me a small little bit of a hint. And I just got really tired of trying to find it. And I just eventually gave up, you know, very unfortunate because this is actually a really fun level, in my opinion. I think in a lot of it's because two reasons. I... I love Ceres for two reasons. The music, and I just think it's a relatively fun boss fight in general because of how fast it is. You know, I love... I'm a Sonic guy. I love speed. You know, I've always enjoyed speed. I'm gonna take a hit right there. That's fine. Gotta be careful on how many hits I take. Gotta make sure that I'm always recharging my energy along with it. I, I, I do remember getting hit by projectiles is better than getting hit by the actual enemy itself. And I think I can jump down and take one hit on the water there, but again, I'm no... I'm no speedrunner. I don't I don't know exactly everything that I can use. But yeah, see, there's nothing different about this wall. So what's supposed to make me think that I can actually bomb it? And to me, it's like there really is nothing that showcases that it's actually bombable. But other than just you're supposed to take a wild guess, I guess? Ugh, I just messed that up. So that thing is going to ignore me. That's fine. There we go. Alrighty. Got us a nice little save. Alright, I believe right after this is immediately Saris. Because, yeah, no, see, there's a crack right there. That's, that's noticeable. Alrighty. Let's see. Let's see how good we can go. I'm going in with relatively low energy. That shouldn't be a problem. I don't I don't think it's going to be a problem. I don't take the damage whatever. I keep forgetting that I got to go get to these doors first anyway, so I'll, I'll be able to get all of uh, my energy right on back. So if you come down here, you'll be able to see... He's gonna, he should come down right there. Easy hit. And I'm just going to stay right here for now. Because he can't hit me at all right here. And I just wait for the bubbles to appear over on the right here. Now he's in slow motion. I got to stay lower here just in case. Because he does have one motion that gets relatively close to being able to hit it. I should have gotten that. There we go. I'm just going to stay down like this. Yep, see, because he can hit you right there. I think if I stay lowered, he can't hit me. Ah, oh, dang it. A little bit too early there. Oh, I should have gotten him there, too. I was just taking a while, I guess, if I could actually hit him. Ooh, I got him. Yeah, if you're saying right here, he can't hit you at all. And then you just want to look to get out of the water when you actually go against the parasite itself. He's going to come straight down. Ah, oh, wrong direction, though. Ah! I should just need one more hit. Too early. Oh my god, that's so bad. He's going to come down around. There we go. Okay, now we just got to get to here gotta make sure that I'm not within the water because if I get hit too much in the water that's gonna make it really relatively hard for me to be able to jump and dodge it okay 
should be able to get a hit right there and jump right over it. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, I think two more hits. Oh, boy. Oh, no. No, no, no. Get up, get up, get up. Okay, you go down right there. This is... Oh, I thought that was going to hit me. Oh, no. Got it. Woo! Oh, nine energy left. That was close. Oh, no. That's okay. I could use a little victory dip. But yeah, if you go into that one little corner down on the bottom right over there, he is... And kneel down. If you don't kneel down when he does that a loop around, he is able of clipping just the edge of your hitbox for an easy hit. Um, so in order to dodge that, you just got to kneel down and you can always pay attention... Oh, I had to get under. I had to get through here. I want to try it. I want to try it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I can't. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I thought that was like a little cool thing I could have utilized there. Or maybe I just needed to go down. I don't know. All right. I don't think I need to go that way because that's just for a little extra something. Because I literally got what I needed out of that. You know, I got the speed burst ability so that I can utilize that to lower the water level so it doesn't touch the electricity. Dang, I'm actually doing pretty good as far as bosses go. Got really low, though. Almost, almost paid for it there. But I'm glad that one particular area worked out. Because that was something that I noticed. Like, if I could pay attention to the patterns that Aceris was utilizing and then I noticed that you could check out the water bubbles underground underneath the water um, you can utilize that to your advantage on knowing where it's going to be but I found that one little area where I was like oh yeah this actually makes it even easier I'm glad it worked I think I, yeah, I gotta go this way because I gotta go all the way through now and now, now it's just completely left open it's so weird I don't I don't fully understand, but this is where I gotta go, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay, and then we utilize that. Oh, I gotta... Alright, I gotta do a jump over this thing. Oh, oh boy that's like what's gonna scare me the most is doing uh like dodging all of the uh do dodging all of the missiles you know that's gonna like or in the energy tanks there are some that are put in areas where it's like you're supposed to get this and you know we we don't want to get it you know that's exactly the opposite of what we want to do right now all right if i remember right i can get a good speed run here Oh, excuse me, good sir. Oh, I was hoping to get... Oh, you little... Alright, this should be enough. There we go. Oh, I should have shot that earlier. I could have kept the speed run. The, the, the literal speed run going. Oh well, that was fun. All right, all right, all right. We're doing good. We're doing good. Uh, Sarah's not, not, not as hard as I originally thought. You know, I, I actually thought that was going to take me about two attempts right there. So I'm actually relatively happy that that went very well in my favor. All right, this next one should be. Well, no, this is the fire area, which I don't think is too, too hard. Let's see here, another ability. Oh yeah, this is where we got to get the uh, super missiles right now. So we are going to the fire area. Which again, another area that really confused me on where it's like, I don't know where exactly I'm supposed to go. And there's that one little block that you can actually blow up to move you to the next area. Again, a little bit hard where it's like, okay, I don't know exactly what they expected me to get out of that. You know, how are they supposed to, like, how was I supposed to figure that out? Again, as a kid, um, and even now when I look at it, I'm like, how was I supposed to figure out that as a kid? And I still really can't come up with a defined answer. I couldn't tell you how someone's supposed to figure that out as a kid. Maybe I'll figure it out by taking a look at it right now, actually. Always love doing a shine spark down an elevator. Okay. All 
right, so I gotta, I just gotta get the super missiles, super missiles in the download area. Right, I gotta do that one speed deal. That's right. Uh, once we unlock uh, the latch for the green, that's when they start infecting the entire area. Okay. Alright, let's get a save here in case I die. Don't want to go through all the text-based deal again. Okay, let's see here. Get ourselves fully restored on energy. Just to make sure, again, I want to want to err on the side of caution when it comes to this run. I thought I could actually shoot, like, the corners there. Mm, let me see here. I think it's back here. Here for the green hatch doors. Yeah, it is, because I gotta. I remember, I remember. Let's go all the way back here first. I think I can just jump it. Excellent. Oh, why? I landed here, so it actually should have kept me going with it. Let's see, the next one's up there, too. Not what I meant to do. There's like a way. Yeah, okay, I want to try this. Ah, oh, man. I wanted to give it a try. I was hoping to like test out my ability to do the uh, uh, jump up and then reset yourself a shine, shine, a uh, uh, shine spark attack. Blah. Uh, bra brains all over the place. Um, let me see here. I, I want to try it. I just want to try it. Cause, Cause then I'd go like, oh wait, but he hit me, so I lost it. You guys suck. Oh, I was taking way too much damage there. See, I that that's what happens. I get a little bit too cocky in what it is that I'm doing. That was a really stupid death. Uh, that shouldn't have happened. I wanted to try something. Now I get a means to try it again because I was just being clearly stupid. Wow. Okay. I apologize, guys. That was that was a really dumb death to take. Uh, oh well, what can you do? I could have sworn that I could have destroyed a portion of that wall right there. Meh. Alrighty. This should be enough, because I could just run right through and then jump. Oh! Huh, that wasn't supposed to happen, I don't think. Oh, and I could have tried it again there, but... Oh well, a little mini fail there, that's fine. Alrighty, don't get cocky, Will. We just gotta we just gotta do a run, I think, and then it'll blow up. No wait, because I, I gotta go to the other area, so that doesn't even really matter. So I just need to kinda run right through and I can only hit this guy with the missile. Oh, and I gotta do it for that anyways. Whoa, hello, good sir! There's one more. Alright. Oh. Alright, well, it gives me a chance to try it out this way. Ah, oh, you son of a... Those guys don't do nearly as much damage, though, so that's pretty good. But I want to try this, see if I can do it right. Yes, I can! Nice! That actually makes me really happy. That should launch me all the way through. Oh! Oh, I'm actually sad. I, I, was, I was really excited there to go all the way through. So yeah, this is where I would get lost. How am I supposed to know that, that, that that's going to happen? What what makes me think that I want to do that? What makes anyone think that they want to do that? Oh, that, that, that's a dumb one. That, that's still, in my opinion, a really dumb one. Okay, there was another trick I remember seeing in the speed run. I don't think I can utilize it, though, because I don't get the... Yeah, because I already messed up being able to get it. Because I should have been able to keep it, but I messed it up. That's fine. Alrighty, this... Okay, so this is where it is. So there's this here. And you're, like, supposed to come up and... What what do you do? Because this is the one that's, like... Ah, oh, I just got it. Oh, how, how are you supposed to do that? I really would want this to be a 0% run, but I don't know if I... I think I'm just going to keep it at 1% because I don't think I have the abilities to do that because 
There's like a weird thing you're supposed to do because like you're up here. And then, oh, how do you do it? I don't know. And then it's supposed to be like... It like launches you through or something. Ah, oh, crap, I, I did, I ended up doing that, I'm sorry! Oh, jeez. What the heck? That was unintentional. I was trying to like run through it and store the charge. At the same time, if I could... Okay. Alright, looks like I'm going with a 1% run then, folks. Um, whoa! Oh, that was close. Wowzers. Okay, that was really close. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. I'm dead anyways. Wow, okay. That was like a lot of failures in one right there. I got like so upset that I actually ended up grabbing the missile by complete accident in the middle of testing something, but I'm not exactly sure how exactly I'm supposed to do that one ordeal or not. Well, let me get back to there, and then I might actually want to look up the speed run itself to see if I can see what it is that he does in order to, like, avoid getting that so then I can make it a 1% run instead of, I mean, make it a 0% run instead of a 1% run. Once again, folks, uh, extreme apologies for this. That was two deaths that could have been avoided entirely. Uh, one of them because I was just goofing around, and the other one because I really wanted to try and make it a 0% run, but I don't know if I have the capabilities to do that. But when I get there next, I'm gonna look up a video on- uh, I'm gonna look up the video on how to do it. Okay, let's see here. I just gotta- I wanna get to there first. Excuse me, good sir. You're nice and kind. You're a good fellow, you. There should be a way for me to keep this. Ah, uh, there's a way to, I just don't know how. I don't think I have the right timing in order to do it. Oh, you tricked me. I thought you were using your little bubble shot deal. Fuck that guy. Alrighty, I'm actually gonna pause it right here and give me a second, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can figure this out. Like, it's really easy to forget, especially since like that. Oh, good story. All right, that was really good. So you have a few frames there to actually store a shine spark. Oh, oh dang no. It. You should be fine now. All yeah, right. it doesn't kill you right there. All right. So yeah, yeah, you had a few frames there to store a shine spark on, on these features of block that you actually broke. All right. So, so you're good. Now right. it's time for Bob Skip. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Need to be see quiet for a second. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, there we there go. We go. Yes! All right, we go. Good job, Jack. Uh, Metroid. Find a way to make the Bob Skip more reliable, make it 1% obsolete. Okay, I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, boy, so what it looks like I gotta do is I gotta bomb here, then come up and run to, like, the very edge, and then try to come up at the exact timing. No? Is it, like, a jump? Oh, I'm so confused. Oh, and I'm just stuck. Uh-huh. 
So I saw them come up, and then they run like this, and they go down. And then what do I do? Oh my god! How? Oh, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, I don't know, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it, because again, I'm just not skilled enough to be able to do that. So, because of that, this is going to be a 1% run. Uh, maybe sometime in the future I'll find out how to make it a 0% run, but I'm just... I'm not skilled enough right now. I'm just not, unfortunately. Ooh, nice little fire drops there. I need to try not actually die here. Because I'd actually lose quite a bit of progress if I did. Get the download. And then there's a save afterwards I can utilize. But yeah, there, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it is. I saw a video and I kind of read a little bit about it, but I didn't read enough. I just kind of looked at what they were trying to do. Because I didn't want to spend too, too much time on it. Alrighty, I want to go down here because I think there's a save over here. Yes. Oh, is there a means for me to get extra energy? This is actually one of my favorite bosses in the entire game. I love going against the security droid. Oh, perfect, the recharge room. So we utilize this first. So yeah, it's going to be a 1% run, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I wish I could have made it a 0% run, but I don't know how to do... I think it was called the Bob, the Bob trick or something. A guy named Bob found out how to do it. Um... I don't know. I, I do not know exactly how to do it. And again, I don't want to waste too much time on it. See, I got to come all the way to the door here to trigger it. I love the security droid when fighting it. Actually, one of my favorite fights. I don't know why exactly. Hello, good sir. So now we got the super missiles. Wow, that was a really horrible shot by me. I know there's a way to hit him on the corner, but I'm not. I'm not exactly that skilled. I think I can get like three shots in every time. I've only got one more left. Oh, it's just enough, too. Beautiful. I don't remember if he hurts you or not to touch him in this state, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any chances. And I did find out that you actually do not get killed or take any damage if those things actually land on you. You just kinda like clip through them as you can see. That's really about it. So yeah. Anyways, that was security droid. Actually one of my favorites. Again, because of the music above a lot of cases, because that's some bumping music for that boss fight. I can just use one shot of that. Oh, you little... Whoa! Whoops, I did not mean to utilize the super missile on that simple door there. I thought there was another one of those there. Oh, those things do a lot of damage, so I'm being relatively careful with them. Alright, and just get me on out of here. Don't need to duck down on that. All right, not bad, not bad. Again, a couple more deaths, not not on the bosses, but on my own stupidity. You know, I really, it really bothered me that I, I got the missile both times in that fact. You know, but what what can you do? You know, I just I I, I probably should have practiced that first. But again, I was more looking to do a one percent run until I found out you could do a zero percent run, and you know, figured eh, whatever happens happens. You know, whether I get it as a 1% or a 0%, it doesn't really matter to me. It's fun all the same. And getting extra 5 missiles doesn't make it that much easier, I don't think. Could be wrong, though. Maybe it will make it a lot more easier. But I know a lot of the bosses don't, you know, the the, the missiles don't really add new. Oh, that's not true, because where we're going into next, the nocturnal one, uh, actually does... Uh, matter in a sense of how many missiles you have. Having those extra five missiles could make the next boss a little bit easier. Uh, I don't know, but again, I'm kind of stuck with the one percent run for the time being. I can't make it a zero percent because I can't really go back and uh, change that outcome unless I went back to replay it, and I kind of don't. So let's just move on. I like how it's like the simplest source of writing. Is she gone? Yeah. Keep an eye on her. Cool. See ya. That's really all it very much was. What's also really confusing to me is when you look at the map, 
in the sector area. So we have five, three, one, two, four, and six. But it did showcase as if it's like in a circular deal. So how come I can't go from five and then warp myself to six? Because from the looks of it, when they show it, um, when he, uh, when the computer tells me where it is I'm supposed to be going, it rotates all six areas. Uh, and it, it looks like it's in a circular deal. So how come I can't go through the ride of six and then end up on five or the end of five and end up on six? How come I got to go all the way from six all the way down to five? That doesn't really make much sense for, to me. Because if you look at it, see, there, it, it's in a circular deal. So how come it doesn't stay that way? I do not know. Anyways, we got the various suit right here. So, yeah, so the fact that we have Metroid within us and a Metroid's biggest weakness is being frozen, you know, we want to stay away from the Icicle X Parasites because they're going to do damage to us. They're not going to heal us until we get the various suit in order to counteract that. Almost hitting up on the second episode here. Feels really good. Again, doing pretty good on the bosses. Just got to gotta be careful on the critters and coming up against some that... Uh, uh, could do a lot of damage, I believe, and I just gotta be really careful. Wait, did those things seriously take like 70%? Oh my god, that was like 70 damage I took there. That's... Ooh, I gotta be careful. I gotta keep my charge shot going. The charge shot doesn't really stun him for much longer, though, so don't really need to utilize that all that much. You stay there. Ooh, ooh. A little too close. I don't remember exactly where it is I'm going, though. Okay. Okay, I'm here. See you, buddy. All right. Oh, that's a lot of damage. I'm, I'm gonna die. Am I even going in the right direction? I'm going to have to look at the map again. Actually, we're going to have to take a look at the map next time, ladies and gentlemen, because that's going to call it a part. It's ending on a death like that, but i got to remember exactly where it is I'm going. And i got to start planning how I'm going to get around some of these frozen parasites. But anyways, we'll worry about that next time. Enjoy the rest of your evenings, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll catch you all in the next part.